It is it is 614 and we're back now with breaking news out of the tropics. You're looking live right now at the satellite feed of Hurricane Barrel. Barrel is moving through the Caribbean right now after strengthening to a powerful and potentially catastrophic category five storm. And Annie, you're already getting a look at some of the damage that Barrel has left behind. It's just devastating. So much devastation, so much. Uh, the destruction that we're seeing, unfortunately, could just be the beginning. This is the strongest hurricane to hit this early in the season on record. Take a look. This is the damage left behind in Barbados. You can see debris just all over the streets. In St. Vincent, the hurricane ripped off rooftops and snapped banana trees in half. And we know there's been at least one death so far. The storm hit one of the Grenadine islands with winds of 150 miles per hour, bringing with it a six to foot six to nine foot storm surge. It is not clear at this point how Hurricane Barrel will impact the US, but officials worry it is an ominous sign of what's to come. And Jonathan, that alone is a scary thought. Uh, Barrel yeah. is on track right now to reach Jamaica by tomorrow. So everyone there bracing for the big storm. Yeah, you bet. And uh, Barrel right now, the earliest category five that we have ever had in the Atlantic Basin. You can see here winds at 155 miles an hour by 2 p.m. today. Right now it's at 165 gusts to 200. This is why we've seen mass devastation in its track. It looks like it passes by Jamaica with winds at 120 miles an hour by tomorrow and then moving over the Yucatan potentially still as a category one and eventually a tropical storm. Uh, out into the Bay of Campeche, just a monster. You can see the reds, the yellows, the oranges here that are just blossoming right around the very well defined eye. And the reason that this has been just such an incredible storm system is because the ocean temperatures have been super warm for this time of year. These ocean temperatures above average actually for over 400 days. These ocean temperatures have been not only above average, but these ocean temperatures have been record warm. So 400 days of record warm temperatures and just falling off of that in May. And now this is still moving over those 85 degree warm water. So this is why we've seen that monstrous again, huge intensification, record intensification, and why this thing's at a category five and will stay so at least for the next 24 to 48 hours as a category four or five before it impacts Jamaica with potentially mass devastation there as well. So our prayers out to those folks and our weather around here looks maybe not this bad, but not so good as we head into July 4th. A weather impact alert is in effect.